I've been thinking about starting a YouTube channel for a while now as an addition to the web blog that's on my website. If you haven't read it, it discusses all kinds of things. It discusses sports, sometimes. It discusses technology, it discusses programming, it even discusses cake. Whatever takes my interest, really. Some people prefer to watch video than reading, though, and understand the way they feel. Quite often I'd rather watch a video than read, and I'd like to cater to everybody. So, in the best tradition of Jeremy Corbyn, and not using a contrived and invented email at all, I'd like to answer this pressing question. I've got a, neat, a message file that I want to open. I know that it's from Outlook on Windows, but how can I open it on my Mac? Good question, Sue. Let's get cracking. Well, Sue, it's easier than you'd think. Simply download MailRadar from the Mac App Store or from the 45 RPM software website. I recommend that you buy MailRadar Pro because it has more functionality than plain MailRadar. For a start, non-pro versions of MailRadar can't show formatting and they can't process mail in bulk. Once MailRadar has installed, all you need to do is double click on the attachment in your email and MailRadar will open it. And MailRadar is just as able to open winmail.dat files, also known as TNF, and Outlook EML files. MailRadar can open email messages, calendar files, contact details, notes in Outlook format, and save them so that you can open them with your Mac native applications or export them for use on another computer if you prefer. It has comprehensive preferences covering whether or not you'd like to be able to extract email metadata as an attachment, whether or not the attachment drawer should open automatically if the email contains an attachment, whether to display an open dialog if starting MailRadar with no documents open. This can be handy as a confirmation that MailRadar actually has opened if you're not used to working on a Mac. It covers the styling of your email and whether to default to unformatted text. If you need to bulk process the email using your own tools, it might be useful to explore the XML options that MailRadar Pro provides. You can choose which fields you'd like to export and whether or not you want to fog any of them. In other words, whether randomly generated data should replace the actual content of the email. Don't forget that comprehensive help is also provided, covering all of MailRadar's functionality. If this looks useful to you, please check out the 45RPM software website where you can download the off App Store version of MailRadar. Try it out. It'll be demo only, which means that it'll only open a limited amount of text and only extract a limited number of attachments, so it's not fully functional. But it'll give you a taste for what MailRadar can do. Then you can decide whether to buy a license direct from 45RPM software or buy it on the Mac App Store. I've started planning other, perhaps less useful, but maybe more interesting videos. Stay tuned and see what I come up with. Thanks for watching. I hope that this video has been useful to you.